Hello again, hardware enthusiasts and water cooling geeks. I'm done. This is the final part of my build log. I'm gonna make more and more video where I'll talk about the performance, the temperatures. So the cooling is done. I'm not going to connect it to the screen, I'm just going to light it up. See how it lights up now. You see all the GB LEDs, the fluid, the coolant. I'm going to light it up now, like right now, with everything inside. See the beauty that it. Okay. Okay, now it's, it's posting because I added the additional RAM this time around. Okay, okay, okay. It's probably resetting the RAM at default speed because it had 16 gigs as you remember before. Okay, all 32 gigs are being detected. And, yep, this is the final result. Uh, I think it looks lovely. So yeah, so reservoir, pump, first radiator, goes out of the radiator, to the CPU, to the second radiator and back to the reservoir. Uh, I had a leak, as you'll see in another video that I've made. Uh, I had to replace a part here and another part before. The hardest tubes to bend were this one right here, but actually uh, I did on the first go, I was really lucky. The one behind, which you can barely see here, was the hardest of them all. I'm gonna pop it open so you can see a bit better the interior. So yeah. I added the secondary RGB LED chip down here. So come closer. You can see this band right here was really hard to make. Tight bands, two consecutive bands. So uh, it took me quite a while, but I'm actually pretty satisfied with the end result. This one also, even though it's a perfect 90 degree angle, I used the ruler. Uh, because uh, <coughs> this one was a bit shorter, slightly not or horizontal. This one was horizontal because I needed to put a replacement fitting. It's slightly skewed for to the top. Uh, I'm gonna add add the uh, uh, LED here, uh, UV LED, because this coolant is UV reactive. You cannot see it. This is the uh, new uh, EK coolant, the Eco Cryo Fuel, the uh, yellow uh, lime, the lime yellow. Uh, it's not as concentrated as it should be because it's uh, for uh, one liter, whereas here I have around maybe 1.5 or 1.6 liters. Uh, as you can see I also got my SSD here, which is really blazing fast. Uh, I'm really really happy of this with this build and stay posted so I can bring you what kind of temps I manage on this system and uh, further impressions on the pump and the speed of it but I think it uh, really looks lovely it took me quite a while to do the water cooling part I uh, hope you appreciate it too uh, subscribe I'm eventually I'm further down the road gonna add an SLI cards and remove this tubing, redo this tube here. Uh, this one actually was quite hard to make because it was the whole length of the tube and I did one bend and second bend here. Uh, I just cut it just a little tiny bit. Was really lucky to make it uh, as good in the first go. Um, so Write comments below and tell me what you think and uh, keep posted, subscribe if you want for more hardware and more water cooling uh, videos and tutorials and mountings and various stuff like that. Remember, I do this with my own money, I'm not sponsored so 
you'll always get an honest uh, impression and review of stuff uh, you can get an objective point of view of things I've been doing water cooling 10 years so this is my first hardline tubing build uh, yeah so I think that maybe if you take thinner uh, tubes it's gonna be easier to bend them especially on tight corners but bigger tubes guarantee higher flow uh, so yeah it's pretty lovely uh, that's it thanks for watching thanks for following my videos if you haven't followed my videos check my channel to see how this beast was born that's all bye y'all